Welcome, Ranger. Welcome. It's been too long since I played host to one of your kind. Dr. Anton Kvasir, genius scientist with a shifty past, original Arcist, pre-Apophis. They said he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters, joined the cause, fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. Not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. It's an impressive setup, Dr. Kvasir. Kvasir, yes, my lab suffices. And legs. <clears throat> my research used to be more mechanically inclined. But over time, the machines, it turns out, fail. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my arc mainframe. I know you now. Your parents. Mm -hmm. Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Arvina Prowley took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever Dead. knew. Oh no. She was... Formidable. I was always hoping to. But, alas, no. It was a massacre. An unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns and huge. Taller than any building. And they were led by a man. General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. Him and his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course. Crowley must have told you already. It was easy, easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. Come back in about uh, six years or so. Then I will have concocted the nanotracking program. Sarah is I prefer to call. Whoa, did you say six years? Yes, thereabouts. The science cannot be right. Only the elusive Eco-15 is still in orbit, but provide the computer power to speed up this process. The Eco-Pod's still in orbit? Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a miscalculation. It remained on the firmament as the others came, tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it. Siphon the brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm. Yes. It can be done from the Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. Yes. Wait a minute. You knew I was going to volunteer to do it, right? Yes. Destination reached.
Doctor, I made it to the Space Center. It's in ruins and, like you said, overrun by thugs. It should pose no problem to you. And as for Eden, well, it was built to withstand anything. Let us get you proper access. Press palm to hand scan in the reception desk. the sound of that. Ah, yes. Better to take no chances. Now you have full access. President, the ego position control is on the third floor.
Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Entered the atmosphere. Onboard temperature readings indicate thermal shielding is uniform. So good. Here we are. You have found it. Turn it on and let me handle the rest. The big supercomputer has been dancing to Vampir's tune. It's all powered up. Everything seems to be in working order. Fantastic. The project will now... I am getting a reading from outside the Ecopod. You have authority battle mutants homing in on your location. I'll take care of them.
Doc said, authority mutants should be crushed. are no longer a threat. You're good to go. Ah, so swiftly, too. You surely are Prowley's successor. Walker, lose him here. I got some news for you. Good and bad. Lay it on me. Well, the tank we liberated from Clayton's creepy dungeon, they don't run. But I think I have a solution. I'll swing by your office. So, what you got for me, Hagar? The Feltrite vision cores have been stripped from all the old machines. Plague must have used them to power his idiotic tower. We need another power supply if we want that tank to run. You mentioned some good news? Yeah, the gizmo you planted worked like a charm. Listen to this, straight off of Clayton's computer. I am at my rope's end with you, Clayton. I have been more than patient. I have given you endless support, yet you have not delivered on your end. I am beginning to think that Clay Clayton is not the powerhouse of a man he claims to be. I shall give you one last chance to explain. Consider yourself summoned. Go to the Goliath plant. There you will receive further instructions. That voice, that conceited goddamn zombie relish, I'd know it anywhere. Did we get the coordinates? Please tell me you got the coordinates. That we did. It's an area called Twin Falls, a bandit roost currently held by the Goon Squad. I'm starting to think these low-rent thugs are in deep with the authority. Would explain all that impressive equipment. If this Goliath plant is any kind of authority base, hidden under some bandit hideout camouflage, then I bet we can find all the felt vision cores we need there. You read my mind. I'll follow the coordinates, see what I can dig up. Good luck, Walker. <laughs> 